science fiction or science fact. These pictures are both. They're fact-based representations of what our universe looks like from different perspectives. They're the fantasy of this man, Tucson artist Kim Poor. Well, I've always had an and when I first started to paint, that's just kind of what I started to do. Poor says he's one of about only two dozen professional space artists in the world. His tool is the airbrush, and these days he does most of his painting at public exhibits around the country. But his ideas and research come from right here in Tucson. Living in Tucson here, there's so much astronomy going on that I have access to some real fine information. Uh, it's my edge with against the other artists because I can get the information a lot of times before they do and it's a lot more accurate. Even though most of what poor paints are fantasy views conjured up from his own mind, he concentrates so much on realism and detail that sometimes you have to remind folks that these are not photographs. Making it realistic is important to poor. A lot of people figure that their children or grandchildren will be on other planets someday and it's good to have sort of a, a forecast of what that might look like. And so research, imagine and an airbrush provide a look into the future. For the space-aged space artist, the sky's no limit. Rich Amata, TV4, Eyewitness News.